Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your March 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. However, I do post readings on Friday and Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. I've also been throwing in some Wednesday bonus readings. So if you're interested in those, I always appreciate it when you subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. And as we read the cards today, if I do get timing cards, I will let you know. It's sacred divination, so it's not quite a, the exact science as astrology, but we do have some timing cards in this deck. All right, what advice do you have for cancer please what does cancer need to know please for the best and highest good of all involved with cancer all right so we will lay out the tarot we're going to pull a sacred destiny oracle card which have already been shuffled to save a bit of time here this is a nice one we'll get back to that Current situation, Eight of Swords, Immediate Influence, King of Wands. In your subconscious, the Two of Swords, the Distant Past, the Page of Pentacles. The more recent past, the Queen of Cups. The energy coming towards you is the Seven of Pentacles. You're represented by the Seven of Cups. You have the Nine of Swords in your what you're attracting, person or situation, Ace of Cups, and the Magician in the Outcome. Now, I'm going to tell you what. This is going to be hugely helpful with some of this air energy, which is not my favorite energy, and it's probably not yours either. But you have the two, the eight, and the nine of cups. It's needless worry. It's too much thinking. All three of them are too much thinking. If it's somebody around you, and it's like driving you nuts because they're overthinking and what I'd call what ifing. Have you ever dealt with a what ifer? Oh God, it can be really. It can be a struggle. So the bottom of the deck here. You have here the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the High Priestess. So the Magician is one, the High Priestess is two, in the order of the deck. And then what's interesting is the Magician is about using your mind to create. So knowing that your thoughts influence your feelings and that then is what is your energetic point of attraction. The High Priestess is your subconscious. Prima Materia Matter comes from the mind. So I feel like they've got kind of a double message. But with this too, it is about a new cycle. It's a new cycle that brings things into your awareness. So be very cognizant of it. When things happen, they're not coincidence. They're co-occurring incidents you're attracting. And so you do have, for somebody here, you have moving here. You have love here. But it's all about really your, again, your perspective on it. I mean, you have this, which I think most people would be pretty happy about as a water sign. You know, you have with the Ace of Cups, somebody who comes straight from the heart. And the Queen of Cups is also not just intuition, which you have that in the High Priestess, the card of the psychic. But I do feel like whatever this is, it's like it really isn't aligned with what you want. There's an alignment, they keep saying. So we'll get back to these in a minute. But you have diligence. And so this diligence, I also feel like has to do with something about managing the thinking so not letting your mind take over and create needless pockets of worry in your life all right try to let those go because that can be the stuff that we start to attract and we go i knew that was going to happen well of course we did we put too much feeling i have that happen all the time and so i do feel like with this if you're working towards something with that seven of pentacles it's going to pay off so if you've been trying to start some sort of a business, it's your time to, if you've had a bit of a jam, you've had a bit of a pause, get back out there. That King of Wands is going to give you another push because the King of Wands says, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So if you took a pause on something, perhaps you're writing a book and you got a little bit of writer's block. I did that once. I did actually write and publish a book. But I started writing a book and my memoir, and then I got to about 22,000 words, which is not bad. I mean, a, a short book is about 75,000. And so I, you know, it was close, but I mean, it wasn't really close, but it was a good beginning. And I scrapped the whole thing and I took that memoir and I infused it into a series of short stories. And that made a lot more sense. But sometimes we do that. I also met a woman around that time who became a quite a dear friend of mine who was a published author. 
I won't get into exactly how we met or any of that business, but those things happen because you need somebody who told me, she said, just don't quit writing, just continue, just keep going. So that's what this is, just keep going. And you'll attract exactly the right people with the high priestess energy. Now she's also about being true to yourself. And so she tends to be a bit more analytical. Well, she'll, she'll watch things, she'll analyze. The high priestess also cannot be fooled. So if you have a bit of a spidey sense about something, perhaps it's something you know, where it's an online deal. I mean, we know there's lots of scams out there. And so it helps you to be aware of that. So we're not sending out money to anyone we don't know. You know, and in making some kind of a deal online, I just feel like there's something about that especially with the seven of wands where it's like you continue to look and find something reputable if that's you especially if it has to do with something like a vacation like an airbnb or a verbo with that three of pentacles okay any kind of a housing thing i just feel like they're telling you with that seven of wands make sure that you vet everything quite carefully because the sevens are all about success. You have three of them, by the way. And so the sevens and the tarot are victory, security, safety, but they're alignment and ultimately triumph. And so I feel like they're saying that your efforts will pay off here, Cancer, that it is about you continue to continue until you feel like it's the right thing, okay? That you don't, you don't settle for something that someone else convinces you, right? Or tries to talk you into it. Because with the eight of, of swords, it feels like you have too many people giving their two cents. And it's like, that's neat to weigh in on somebody else's life, but you're the one that has to live it. And so with that eight of swords, it's a bit too much thinking, but like I said, it may also be too many people around you. And if it's something too, in terms of a job and moving on, and you're worried about how it's going to go over, that eight of swords is like a committee meeting in the mind that just never gets to a decision. But it also too can be feelings of guilt. And so I feel like you're going to have inspired action with that King of Wands. If you also, too, have been doing some kind of personal development, like you've been listening to even some Tony Robbins or somebody like that who's like kind of that take the bull by the horns speaker and mentality and push, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I do feel like that is also going to be helpful for somebody here to move forward. That King of Wands is great in terms of jobs. So if you're interviewing for a job and you feel like, oh, I feel like they've done so much for me here, but I know I need to move on, or they keep promising something's happening in, you know, a few months and it hasn't come around yet and you have another offer. I feel like that King of Wands can be that seductive offer that you go, I don't know that I want to wait around anymore. I think it's my time to go now. So the King of Wands is quite a charismatic energy. And in terms of relationships too, that King of Wands, if you're in a relationship that you're not too sure about, that King of Wands will can, can cause you to have a bit of a wandering eye, okay? I'm just telling you. But I do feel like for somebody here, you have a new beginning in love, regardless of what your situation is. With the Two of Swords, though, I don't love this in your subconscious, by the way, because it's, not, it's immobilized. The Two of Swords can't see and is encased in fear and anger. You know, so we don't really want this in the subconscious. We got to start talking to the subconscious and that state akin to sleep that Neville Goddard taught about right before you nod off. Imagine yourself in the relationship you want to be in with the money you want to have. You're flying, you know, in business class uh, across the, you know, in, in 10 hour flight or whatever it is. And you know, those can be hard to get. They're expensive, but oddly enough, they sell out. So I do feel like when we have this kind of this this kind of mindset or this is somehow implanted in our subconscious that things aren't going to go anywhere, it gets very hard to get opportunities in the conscious in the day to day. So again, open yourself up wide to this universe. There are unlimited possibilities for you. So you do have the two twos here. Did I mention that you have twos and their partnerships? So I also feel like too, if it's a relationship situation it may be time to open up to something new all right if you feel like you're stuck in a rut if you feel like you're a bit imprisoned so the page of pentacles i swear this has shown up in like three readings already in the exact same spot it's so strange to me i don't know how this guy keeps making it into the readings but he is good news about money he's optimism he's hope and he can be for those of you that are in a relationship that you don't think is for you. It can also be that turning point. You start to see something else and you say, 
I don't know that this is the one for me because there's this, okay? This is the thing that can have, cause us to hit the change. We start to see hope and potential in another situation. And so we get to the point where we can't seem to turn that off in our mind. We keep thinking about it and going, I don't know that this that I'm in is the best situation. Now, it could be housing. It also could be a job where you've seen something else that has caught your eye. That's what I get. This is like that glimmer of hope that gives you a new idea. It catches your eye and gets you thinking about the possibilities and the potential. And this one can take some time to cultivate. Now, this can also be, he's a student of life, so it also could represent those of you that have had training at a job and they've invested some things in you, some money, some time, some teaching, and now you're looking to leave. And that's where the guilt comes in because you go, oh God, they could have picked somebody else. And I also feel like somebody has a fear that they're going to say that to you. Like we would have picked someone else if we knew this. And it's like, well, I didn't know it myself. I just hate it when people guilt trip somebody. It's like, does that help anyone here? I don't think it does. Well, here you are in your own energy. So I feel like this is a great card to meditate on, to think about, to know. And that Queen of Cups, she follows her heart. She's also a very loving energy. So as you're guided by the Queen of Cups, you're guided into situations that are just a little bit more gentle, a bit more supportive, a bit more kind and loving. So even if you come across what I see as sandpaper, so if you are afraid to take a move or make a move because you're afraid of someone's reaction, I feel like this Queen of Cups is trying to guide you, protect you, and moving you forward. And so if you have news to break to somebody and you're coming from a Queen of Cups place, I mean, even if the news is not what you think they want to hear, the delivery will be graceful, it will be compassionate, and it will be the best that you can do when you're coming from the place of the Queen of Cups. So the Seven of Pentacles says that it's your harvest season. It is your time to reap and sow and collect, and money does grow on trees around here. It's the waiting, but it's now the time. The wait is over is what they're trying to tell you. And so I feel like the writing is on the wall. You're making a change here. You've got a, you've got a new opportunity coming in, and it's just too good to pass up. And that's why we're here. We're here to evolve and grow and experience. And so when we don't do those things and we get stagnant, stagnant and stuck, our vibration drops. We become uncomfortable. We get restless, irritable, discontent. And so here it is. Here's the next opportunity for you. And so you've got the Seven of Cups representing you. Now, this is a card that can be about manifesting. And I, I do still feel like there's just a little bit of an undercurrent of fear about picking the wrong thing or having a reaction you don't can't control or don't want to have to deal with. And so there's something about this Seven of Cups here where there's magic in it. There are certainly gifts and, and wonderful things, but there's also things too that we don't want to deal with, right? And so again, I feel like a lot of the answers are that meditation, quieting the mind, but also to keeping things right sized. It's like, if it's a job, it's like, look, that's a job. If they went out of business, they wouldn't, you know, I mean, they might lose a little sleep telling employees we can't continue, but they do it. All right. I mean, it's like we always, I think because we're compassionate, caring people, we worry about other people. But truthfully, when the other, you know, is it's on the other, you know, they, they have the power and have to do the same thing, they'll do it. So with this nine of swords, I do feel like you might be creating this, okay? You might create this behind you. A bit of a ripple effect when you leave, you might create somebody who is a bit uncomfortable. And they also, too, may take their own inventory and, and recognize where they didn't do some things or fulfill, fulfill some end of an obligation. And if it's a relationship, too. This person, I do feel like, is having a hard time. And they are aware where they took you for granted and they didn't show up. They didn't suit up, show up. But sometimes, you know what? It's not enough and it's too late. There's other people out there like, oh, I don't know, 8 billion of them. So you've got a new story. So you've got a new chapter beginning in this book. And this is the one where it feels like magic. It feels like love overflowing. It feels effortless. And it's like it's too good not to do it. That's what I get. It's like too good not to be here. And with the magician and the outcome, we can't, I mean, talk about one of the most transformative cards in the deck. I met a guy in like the San Diego area. He was a retired engineer who was doing tarot because he loved it. And his favorite card was the magician. He had it all over his shop. 
because he felt the power of the magician was life-changing. And you know what? It is. And so with this magician, you're about to have a turning point. Things are easier and it feels like you're in charge. It's like you take control of a situation. I hear you dominate, but I also feel like you're living life in your own terms, in terms of a relationship too. You both bring a lot to the table. You have something here that's tough to find, but you're bringing it in. So I would say go for it. Now we're going to hear from the Fortune Oracle, which have already been shuffled. You have here fire, let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. So you have a new beginning. And then this is from the Whispers of Love. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So when we talked about channeling that Queen of Cups energy, if you do have to deliver difficult information, I feel like you do it the best you can. But good things are on the way, Cancer. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.